This is Russian military heavy duty stuff headed down to uh, the, the city there right on the North Korean border within eight miles of North Korea. These particular types of, these are not tanks, these are anti, special anti-aircraft missiles that, that were headed down there. An amazing show of force by Russia. This is letting us know that Russia does intend to protect North Korea from the United States. An amazing show of force right here. The Tor-1 was the first air defense system in the world designed from the start to shoot down precision guided weapons like the AGM-86. Uh, this is exactly what this particular machine here is actually designed to do. And that's what is on the train headed down there uh, to Vladivostok there, which is the city bordering North Korea. Russia, very serious about protecting North Korea. North Korea is not Syria. This is something that we're finding out in, in, in articles in the Russian language there. And it appears that Russia will have a much stronger stance for North Korea than they do of that of President Bashar al-Assad in Syria. Even though latest news coming out about Syria is that Russia and Iran have agreed to protect Syria of any other type of attack in the near future. But when it comes to North Korea, it's a completely different game. I'm going to share with you some information coming out of this article here, Israel Shamir's article on uh, svetprasad.ru. And this article here, if we drop down here a little bit further into the article, and again, it is a Russian language article. I'm just using Google Translate right now so you can see this as well. Uh, actually, I have sitting right out our, our my door here our um, Russian expert who is a former university professor of the Russian language that's able to give us the inside information about these types of articles. It says on here, the blow to Syria and the threat to Korea. This is the cat is beaten. The bride gives hints. According to the Russian proverb, if Russia does not have enough strength to give America its hands, it could help the DPRK defend itself. For North Korea, many Russian pilots fought and died in the bloody massacre of the, of the early 50s. Perhaps and now there will be volunteers who will stop the American blow. Russia could urgently put its means of air defense to prevent an atomic war from commencing 200 kilometers from Vladivostok. Okay, this is exactly where I was talking about. Unlike the weakened and demoralized Syria, the DPRK is ready to fight and is determined not to yield Russian support, preferably in conjunction with China or without. If China does not have the strength, will help the DPRK and stand up to a strike at the aggressor. Calling the United States the aggressor. Says, yes, it is only a cat, but a daughter-in-law should not let go of such attacks on cats. Russia is trying to avoid a war with the U.S., a war that could lead to the death of the human race. It is right, but if you do not send a stop signal in Korea, you will have to repel the enemy in the sky of Russia. The DPRK is Russia's outer ring of defense. It cannot be handed over to the enemy. And this is the way Russia is looking at this. So it's a very serious situation that we're looking at right now. A U.S. Navy fleet is headed toward North Korea after all. That's been confirmed by the White House today. This follows confusion when President Trump first claimed the armada was on its way toward the Korean Peninsula. But it later turned out the U.S. ships were in fact going in the opposite direction. All this while tensions in Korea are still high, with Russia reportedly strengthening its far eastern border. RT's Alexei Arashevsky reports. Just days after U.S. missile strike on a Syrian airbase, President Trump, in a televised interview, made further show of force kind of comments that U.S. naval fleet was heading towards the Korean Peninsula. We are sending an armada, very powerful. We have submarines, very powerful, far more powerful than the aircraft carrier, that I can tell you. 
The problem is that it actually wasn't at that time. New York Times revealed that when Trump and a number of officials made the claim, U.S. carrier Carl Vinson, along with three other warships, were in fact heading to the opposite direction to take part in joint exercise with the Australian Navy in the Indian Ocean. And that blip could have stayed unnoticed if the Navy itself did not post a picture of the vessel last Saturday, saying it was made while Carl Vinson was passing through Sunda Strait off the coast of Indonesia. The, ultimate, the untimely and uncoordinated announcement sent a lot of blushes onto the faces of the Pentagon officials, but now the White House says their armada is finally headed to the Sea of Japan. I believe that he might have spoken too quickly on this uh, location of the vessel um, before the, the it was actually president arriving. President said we have an armada going towards the peninsula. That's a fact. It happened. It is happening, rather. It was announced that it was going. It will be there. Um, we were asked simply a question on that. I think all other questions should be asked of the Department of Defense.